Welcome back to your next Wild Weekend. I'm your host, Byron Goggin. Now, if you find skydiving to be a little bit too extreme, we found something that's a little bit more subdued. Now, it still involves a parachute, but some consider it to be the safest form of flight. Power parachute is about the funnest sport that you can ever do because it gives you the freedom of flight and that very few men on this earth have experienced over the years. Flying this style of aircraft gives you the freedom to just fly high, fly low, fly slow, and there's nothing like it. It's hard to explain unless you get into the one of the seats and experience it for yourself. Powered parachutes are really a pretty simple invention. It's basically a big go-kart or buggy with a giant fan to propel it through the air. It's attached to a parachute and it's quite simply the safest form of flight. If you're flying along and you have an engine out, which is probably one of the, one of the most dangerous parts of flying, uh, you know, because we're on a parachute and the chute has so much drag, you get to float down to the ground and you still have complete control of the aircraft so you can steer it to a nice open field and still land softly without creating any damage to you, the plane of course, or you know, with bringing you and your passenger down safely too. The sport of power parachuting is growing quickly. The Eagle's Nest in Marine City, Michigan is one of many power parachuting clubs across the country. Monthly, members get together to discuss new aviation rules or changes and to plan new places or adventures to try in the future. Clubs like this one are finding themselves overwhelmed with membership. All about seven years ago, there was three of us flying and they thought we thought it started a club. So we started, uh, officially formed a club with five members at that point. And since then it's grown to about 30 members over the last six years, you might say. And we meet once a month just to share flying stories. Winter months when we can't fly, we um, have classes. So we all um, keep current on the laws and regulations of power parachuting with ultralights. But more than this, clubs like the Eagle's Nest are called on for search operations. Because the chutes can fly so low, they are the ultimate vehicle for detecting lost items from the air. Two years ago when the Space Shuttle uh, Challenger blew up on re-entry over Texas, uh, NASA was looking for some help trying to locate the missing debris. And so the word went out to the power parachute organizations looking for help. So a few of us from my club volunteered. We went down to Texas and were assigned certain grids to fly outside of the helicopter areas looking for lightweight parts that might have got hung up in trees where the helicopters if they fly over it, they'll um, disturb it, you know, and throw those, that debris back into the woods. So we flew missions for, well, I was down there for a week, low-level missions over some pretty rough terrain, you know, spotting parts, locating them, marking them with GPS, taking pictures of them, and turning them into the cameras to the FEMA people in the evening. Now, the only thing that these guys like more than flying exciting missions for NASA is quite simply giving people who have never experienced the sensation of flight first time rides. For basically the cost of fuel, anyone can fly along, and really, it's not as scary as what you may think. My son's 13 years old and had the time of his life. A lot of people are afraid of heights, and then when they get into a powered parachute, it's a lot different than what they think, and they really enjoy it. I myself am afraid of heights. If I'm on a roof or something, I'm scared, but when I get in a powered parachute, you're secured, you're strapped in, and it's a lot, it's real comfortable. It's a lot different than what most people would think. And to all those who try this flying adventure, it's unbridled excitement that has you hooked from the first time you lift off. Everybody, the first time they absolutely know, had no idea what to expect. It's very exciting. It's exciting. I've made 140 landings and takeoffs, and every time I'm nearly as excited as my first time. I took flying lessons years ago, but in the cockpit, you know. And being out in the open, it's totally different. You feel every vibration. Uh, that's the fun of it. You feel a breeze in your face. Uh, uh, it's real nice. It's like no, nothing else you've ever experienced. My experience with a helicopter ride was very, um, made me very ill. But this is open air and refreshing and beautiful and relaxing and just, just an awesome, peaceful ride.